The GOC 2 Division of the Nigerian Army Major General Anthony Bamidele Omozoji intimated Governor Baseki on the composition of the seven-day IT security operations, which is intelligence-driven and will comprise personnel from the Air Force, Civil Defense Corps, Federal Road Safety Corps, DSS, NDLEA, Police, and others. He solicited the Governor's support in terms of media coverage and publicity of the exercise. Major General Omozoji said the exercise will involve checking points at strategic locations within the state and roving team, which is for intelligence gathering. He said security personnel will man checkpoints for one hour and relocate to other points to search criminals and weapons in their disposal. As we speak, Your Excellency, the planning team comprising representatives from all the agencies at the police headquarters working out the details of this seven days heightened security operations. On my part, we will be supporting the effort with a canine unit from Lagos that will be here with them for 10 days with the dogs to help us in the search for weapons and other dangerous items. He also said this operation has been carried out in Oshun, Kwara, Oyo, Ekiti, and now Edo State. Governor Baseki assured the Army GOC of the state government's support in combating crimes. He told the Army General that the state government has data of all the inmates who escaped from the two Nigerian correctional facilities in Edo State, adding that in due course the government would display their names, photographs, and that of their nest of kings on social media and all the television stations in the state. He said the state government is set to give out phone numbers to the general public to assist security agencies with useful information to fight crimes in the state. Uh, first, we have a subsistence curfew in Edo, which has been, has been breached. And to support and, and align with this seven-day heightened security efforts, we are reinforcing the curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. daily. Please the town should be on lockdown and anybody found outside within this period should be dealt with according to law. We will be increasing consultations with our various stakeholders, traditional rulers, youth groups, religious leaders over these next seven days uh, to sensitize them and also to solicit for their support, cooperation and information. In a related development, Governor Obaseki also received Commissioner of Police Abu Tuyaru, who is the Chairman IG Committee on Assessment, who visited Edo State to take inventory of damaged police facilities and losses incurred during the NSAS protest. Patience Osaugiwa reporting.